Happy birthday. Oh my God, so good. I assume you all went to the big climate rally. There's, there's been several of them all over the place. Uh, yeah. Uh, man, uh, it's, it's, it's been so many weeks and it doesn't seem like there's any signs of slowing with the rallies and the protests. Doug is just Doug Ford. So much, so much anger. Oh, directed at him. It's so very much. Uh, and a funny little piece of trivia. A couple of uh, rallies ago, I've kind of lost track. Uh, my daughter and I were at the Queen's Park for, for education. And at, the exact, and at the exact same time, a lot of teachers here today. At the exact same time, Doug Ford was in my hometown of North Bay at Burger World where I used to hang out. True story. The exact same time so he was kind of in my hood when I was a kid so to, to, so, yeah. so to get even I did some stuff that he did when he was a kid to kind of align the universe a little bit so check this out guys over the weekend I was in Florida got arrested for drunk driving so that was cool did that yeah and I also uh, retroactively dropped out of high school you can do that did you know that you can burn your transcripts that's a thing you can do and guys I don't want to I don't want to talk too much about my side hustle but I sold so much hash oh my god guys like it's so easy you don't even need to advertise you just like whisper to a shifty guy and it's good like you're good hashtag side hustle okay uh, let's <laughs> he's shifty he's a he's a shady guy he's shady like a like a patio umbrella store I got nothing uh, hey speaking of umbrellas accidental uh, accidental segue uh, let's meet your first guest you recognize him from the smash hit umbrella Academy you know him you know him. You know him from People of Earth. You know him from his improv troupe, Two Man No Show, the nicest guy in show, but he's here on our show. He's Ken Hall, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Ken. Hi there. How are you? You are a lovely person Thank and you. two great syllables. <laughs> you really are. I do what I can. I, I enjoy you thoroughly. Thank you. I uh, do too. Unlike Doug Ford, you're having a great year. <laughs> yeah, not you too really bad. Are. You, not too bad. You're on a bunch of high profile shows. You're getting all this great work. You're doing all these great things. And teachers tend to like me. Teachers. That's so always nice. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> You work in the crowd. We're dealing with a professional well, crowd work. Here. You give me a microphone. I got to do crowd work. I'm sorry. So, I'm sorry it's all true. Uh, now here's the funny thing. Uh, yeah. You the shows that you've been in. You've played an alien. You yeah. got the prosthetics on. You're also CGI. Yeah. Uh, and everything else. So what I want to ask is like, do you let you? You're in these high profile shows, but you can kind of slip through a crowd unnoticed. Like, do you like the idea that you can be in these great shows and not get noticed, or do you want like? Uh, I wish I could get a better table, you know? <laughs> like, do, like, do you like the, the getting recognized, but also not at the same time? It's nice. I mean, I think yeah. it's the best of both worlds, you know? Like, kind of, you yeah. can go through life, you know, with some anonymity. Right. And yet, at the same time, if need be, get a better table at the restaurant. So. <laughs> yeah, be at Musso's and Frank's, and like, oh, it's Kenneth Hall. Please put him, please <laughs> sit him over there. Ellen Page is here. Can we just please make it happen? That's kind of nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's great. So, uh, I mean, what's what's your record for makeup chair? Because you had the you had the big alien face. Right, in, in yeah. Earth, why it's not. What's, what's your record? for sitting with having people my touch record, your face. My record, actually, for people of Earth, for playing Jeff, that was actually, that was pretty easy. That was only two hours. Really? That's it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When really I first elaborate. started about eight years ago and like doing film and TV, I started on a show called Freak Encounters, which was very similar to Scare Tactics. It was like the same people involved. Right, right. So the idea of like setting, you know, your friends and family up to be pranked and terrified and yeah. stuff. So that's how I kind of got my start in doing film and TV, <laughs> was playing monsters. And so often I was like doing these great... Uh, characters like Pukwudgies, which are like these hobbit-like creatures that live in forests. Oh, and, man. Uh, one of my favorite ones was a Jersey Devil, so it's a combination between a dog and like a horse. and <laughs> like A Jersey <laughs> Devil? That's yeah, yeah. Like, so like that's the hobby like, team. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. uh, but I, I think one of the most extensive was, was to play a giant rat. And so what happened, like, that was probably about a six-hour sit oh, because man. they were putting individual giant rat hairs in my, <laughs> in my head. So this is the was, life we chose. Isn't and it, it was here? great, yeah, because and my job was to lie underneath a bed. And so and at the appropriate as time, do. as I do, <laughs> uh, with another person who actually, I was so big that there was a, a person under the bed with me with a six-foot rat tail. So when we got the cue, when the, the person was uh, in the room and they heightened it to the point where it was like they could not hide it anymore, mm -hmm. the, that's when the reveal would happen oh. and that's where I would slide I'd have from underneath the bed and the person would shake the big rat tail <laughs> and absolutely terrify the person. You have a fascinating life, Ken. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. Nobody else has that story. You Nobody know, else when you're, when you're in Uxbridge.
Uxbridge, right? That's that? just what you Went in Uxbridge, get under a bed as a rat. <laughs> what? That's on their, that's in their Tuesday slogan, I think. It was so much fun. Now, you can handle yourself on a red yeah. carpet, you can handle yourself on big American late night talk shows like Conan O'Brien, but can you handle 10 quick questions? Oh. Let's find out! Oh. Oh. So here's how this works, friend. You've seen the show before, and I'm just throwing some pops and sticks at you. <laughs> here's how this works. I give you 10 quick questions, Great. and Asha decides whether or not you get them right or wrong. All right, and if all you right. get enough of them wrong, all of you uh, get my Netflix password. I don't have prizes right. on this show. Now it's personal. So don't overthink it. You answer, and Asha right. decides if you get it wrong. So here okay, we go. Good. All right, first question. Uh, who does the voice of the Ken doll in the Toy Story movies? Oh, that's a good one. Don't overthink it. You got to go. say Tim Allen. <laughs> Michael no, Keaton. No, Michael Keaton. He does, yeah, he does uh, Buzz Lightyear. Uh, uh, in, yeah. in grade school, you convinced your friends that you were a distant relative of Arsenio Hall. True or false? That is false. <laughs> that, 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 that did apparently not it's true. That just says it's oh, true. You yeah. convinced people that you were a relative of oh, Arsenio Hall. Oh, and two. Uh, I like it. In the music video for Umbrella, Rihanna uh -huh. at one point is completely painted in one solid metallic color. What is that metallic color? Gold. <laughs> silver. It's actually silver. You, know, you, you, got it, you got it really wrong. With yeah, that's yeah. There we go. I got it uh, double zero. Man. Exactly. A soap dish full of silverfish or a hat full of rats. What's worse to have dumped in your dumped in your home? Yeah. Well, hats. I mean, come on, right? <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. That one right up there. Rat hat was a mean nickname I gave my grade nine music teacher. <laughs> true or false? I want to say true. <laughs> Yes. It's, no, it's, yes. uh, it apparently it's true, but we called him Lenny Zavitz because we were not creative. <laughs> His name was Charles Zavitz, and we called him Lenny Zavitz because we were you losers. Have him on the show. We were Lenny Zavitz on the next show. Here we go. <laughs> uh, Redheaded people of Earth, less or more than 150 million total. Oh, Ooh. I will say less. Less. Less is right. 140 million of us. Right. 140 million of us. Uh, right. Two man luge or <laughs> rowing. What would you have a better t a better chance of winning an Olympic gold medal? Luge for sure. <laughs> that was very confident. That was very confident. You break a sweat. <laughs> when, when you complete a row in Tetris, what happens to the line? The line goes away. You win. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Okay. Uh, David Copperfield famously made this American landmark disappear. Uh, the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, buddy, that's true. And, <laughs> and finally, uh, give us an out-of-context blow line to an improv scene that would indicate the show is over, so kill the lights. <laughs> uh, doctor, your patient is here. <laughs> <laughs> it got a lot. <laughs> kill the lights! That's Ken Hall, everybody! Oh, so delightful. I enjoy it so much. <laughs> Uh, we should probably we have to end the show now, don't we? No, we don't. We're not going to end the show. We're still getting chuckles. We're not going to end the show because we still have a comedian left, even though we gave you legally enough show. I think this might be the very first time we've had a comedian come back to the show due to overwhelming demand. Please welcome Hisham yeah. Kaladi, everybody. Yes. You're back. You're the first one. First one back. It's Guys, here. one more time. My dad, Darren. Yeah. Don't his own back. Nepotism. Sure, nepotism. Uh, Fun fact about me, guys. Fun fact, I am very famous in Toronto, guys. I'm very famous in Toronto, <laughs> yeah. but only one place and one place only, and it's the Bonnie Boys at Queen and Spadina. Yeah. I'm very famous there. I will explain. Uh, I moved to Toronto six years ago. Every week, I've gotten a fried chicken steam bow, and like literally every week. And last uh, Christmas, I was at a comedy bar called Comedy Bar, great place. I was on the steps with my friend Cameron. We were smoking a joint, and walking down the stairs were three Asian dudes, and one of them stopped and pointed to me and just went, Fried chicken steam bow. <laughs> and I was so high, I was like, is that a racial slur? What's happening? And he's like, no, it's me, Mike. And I'm like, it's the actual Bonnie boys. It was Mike, Ethan, and Cody. These guys have been cooking my sandwiches for six years. It was like seeing a teacher outside of school. I didn't know what to do. We just all hugged. We smoked the joint. We had a drink. They actually came to our comedy show. We had a great time. At the end of the night, they're like, listen, we, we, I talked to Ethan and Coates. Um, anytime you come to our Bonnie boys, Free fried chicken steam bow. Uh, I was so shocked. I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> and I made him picky swear, and he said yes. So for the last three months, I've been going four times a week. No joke. <laughs> Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, and it's the same thing every time. I walk in, and Stacy, the lady at the register, sees me, and she goes, "He's here." Ah! One fried chicken steam bow. <laughs> and then five Asian dudes will come out of the kitchen and go, "One fried chicken steam bow." <laughs> And go back inside, and 20 white people will stare at me in utter confusion. And for the first time in three months, last week's Thursday, a woman grabbed my shoulder before I left. I was getting my free fried chicken steam bow. She's like, listen, I'm so sorry. It's just, 
I've been here four times, and I've seen that happen four times. <laughs> Who are you? Are you famous? And I said, yes, I play for the Toronto Argonauts. And he believed it. Because no one watches the CFL, and who would lie about that? She took a picture with me, posted on Instagram, I texted her husband, everyone clapped. No joke, I was gonna say I play for the Raptors, but I got too fat eating fried chicken seafood. <laughs> so now I'm the quarterback. You guys, I'm Hisham. 21 people watching Hisham! Hey!